Hey everyone, my name is Bidu Kaya, and I'll be talking about the Young Scientist Program Project I worked on with Sanjay Song, where we did a concept study using machine learning to mine the information content of water. So our major goal in geochemistry is to understand the environmental history of a location, be that a single ecosystem, the earth, or an extraterrestrial body. Um, one can achieve this by taking samples of a location and tracing back the environment the sample was likely produced in, um, but, this, but this is easier said than done. Um, our project seeks to find out what kinds of uh, environmental information is captured by the concentration of different chemical species in water samples, and we propose using a machine learning method called the self-organizing map, um, which takes multidimensional input data and clusters them on similar traits. Um, for example, we feed the algorithm color data and it organizes the inputs such that similar colors are closer together. Um, we do the same task with geochemical data, starting with gauging the environment's temperature during the reaction. We simulated a thousand reactions that bind different temperatures. And so if the algorithm can organize the reactions in 2D space on temperature without already knowing the temperature, then the samples themselves contain information about the temperature and thus the environment where the, species, where the, where the specimen in the sample was produced. And after running the experiment, the results seem hopeful. Instead of reactions of all temperatures evenly um, distributed throughout space, they cluster. Um, and this indicates that the results in concentration of geochemical reactions contains information about temperature at the time of the reaction and is therefore a clue to the past environmental history of the sample site. In the future, we'd like to. Sorry, my uh, slide there seemed to lag behind. In the future, we'd like to test. Um, on more kinds of environmental data beyond temperature. And we'd like to also find um, what spe chemical specimens are most important to uh, uh, clustering the data at some point in space. Thank you.